All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As coming up next, it is Austin Midkiff. He'll be taking on Travis Ford. Coming to the cage, Travis Ford. Coming to us by way of Glory MMA in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, it is Travis Ford. Now, Travis Ford is coming off a loss out of his last outing. He told me that this time he really went back to the gym. No matter what the turmoil is over at Glory, he says everything is working out. He says, now I'm ready, and Austin Midkiff is where I'm going to make my fresh start. You know, sometimes when you come off a loss, that's just what you need to refocus yourself and get, and get dedicated. So we'll see how he responds to that loss. He told me, he says, that I watched a lot of film on Midkiff. He said there wasn't a lot of things that made me nervous. That's always a tough one to see, but we know that the Kansas City area does put out some great fighters that we've seen here on the Shamrock FC cards. So we're gonna see how this one plays out tonight. A lot of great fighters come out of Kansas City. And his opponent, Austin Midkiff. Coming to us by way of Finney's MMA, it is Austin Midkiff. Now, Austin has come about from taking some kickboxing fights. He said he had a harder time finding some MMA fights lately. So he went out, he's gotten his confidence back now. Even though he sports a one and two record in the world of mixed martial arts, he's done very well at kickboxing. He says that that has really boosted his confidence, which can be big as we go to our Supplement Superstore's tail of the tape. Austin Midkip, 31 years old, 6 foot 2, 159 pounds. Travis Ford, 34 years old, 5 foot 11, 159.6 pounds. Adam that, Adam, that confidence is always big. We're going to see how that plays out tonight. Yeah, confidence is key. And I'm a firm believer as an amateur, or I think as your professionals, but I'm a firm believer in getting as much experience as you possibly can. So when you are not able to get those MMA fights, it is good if you can to maybe take a boxing match or a kickboxing match to, to build those skills and to get that experience. So let's see how he's able to, to take those experiences and, uh, and put on a performance tonight. Let's go to Jeremy inside of the cage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is a mixed martial arts. Out of the blue corner, he comes by way of Pleasant Hill, Missouri, stands 5'11", 159.6 pounds. It is Travis Ford. Standing across the cage at 6'2", he weighed in at 159 pounds. Fighting out of Fairview Heights, Illinois, it is Austin Midkiff. <laughs> Referee Mike England has the call for this contest. All right, into the action. Austin, Austin. Midkiff in the red shorts. Yeah, Austin Travis takes the center Ford of the cage in the black. Midkiff, they're using some of that jujitsu. Midkiff has a very, very good guillotine. Yeah, you know, we're, we might see an anaconda here. It looks like he's. Travis has to be careful exposing his neck as, yeah, his neck as he goes for this takedown. He's either going to get guillotined. Midkiff has 
a couple of standing guillotine wins. Yeah, he almost had a guillotine there. First, it looked like he was maybe going to go for an anaconda, switch to a guillotine. Um, Austin's fell off, and he's on his back now. Let's see what he's able to do with it. Good job by Travis to use the cage to his advantage. Yeah, Travis now kind of starting to stack him on top. Yeah, big shots there to the body by Travis. Goes oh, body, body, elbow. head. Body, 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 head. Just landing some good shots. Good job there by Austin to, to kind of push away, try to create some space. Wasn't able to do much with it, though. Travis just putting pressure on, using the cage yeah. to his advantage. He, Short little elbow there. Yeah, he's definitely not letting Midkiff get any room. Midkiff is a very long fighter. Yeah, you know what Travis is doing really well is he's going up to the head and to the body. He's using a couple body shots, try to open him up, and then goes to the head. He's not being one-dimensional here with his strikes on the ground, which is good. Short little shot up the middle there. Austin's doing a good job, though, trying to control the posture. Yeah, Austin almost trying to work. Mitigate the damage. Yeah, he, he's doing a good job of just holding Ford in tight. He but needs, he's got to do something to mount an offense. Absolutely. He needs to find his time to where he can, you know, you want to time it where you're, you're pulling down the head. When you pull the head, of course they're going to pull back. When they pull back, you want to push away and create that space. You got to try to create that situation so you can get to your feet. Midkiv also has some very long legs that if he could get out of this position, he really uses those to his advantage in sweeps. Yeah, I mean, he gets some sweeps. Obviously, he throw up triangles, arm bars. He has a lot of opportunities there. He's going to have to open his guard to do so. Uh, but Travis, just relentless pressure here, just imposing his will. Just good head pressure, you know, holding Austin, you know, against the cage, using that to his advantage, and just landing good short shots, going to the head, going to the body, mixing it up, being active. Halfway through the first round of this three-round contest, Again, Ford here just dominating pressure. Oh, nice move there by Midkiff, trying to stand up. He, he tried. Yeah, he had a good opportunity there. Pushed Ford him off. saw it, was able to grab those legs and pull them out. I almost thought he was going to go into a leg entanglement and maybe try to do like a straight ankle or a heel hook or something, but he just went right back in the guard, uh, just maintained that connection. Good job by Travis. And he's just in control. Yeah. We're, we're just seeing a lot of a lot of peppering strikes here coming Short out of elbows. Ford. He is staying active. Again, not very damaging, but he is staying active. So Mike Ingles is going to let him keep fighting here. And he is winning right now. I mean, Austin needs to – he can't just sit here with his, his guard closed. You got you to create some offense. Not taking a lot of damage, but not winning either. Minute and 30 left here in the first round of this three-round contest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let them hear you out there. This great pressure by Ford. Midkiff. Midkiff just trying down, to mitigate the damage, but... Down to one minute remaining here in the first round of this three-round contest. A lot of pressure. So what Ford's doing here is he's really, he's kind of using his head to, to hold Austin down. Then he'll posture up, land a couple of strikes, go straight back to it. Now Austin trying to use those long legs. Yeah, Ford just grabbed the feet, though, and pulled himself right back in. Good job by Austin to try to create that distance. He just wasn't able to, to get you know, the oomph that he needed to, to get that push. I mean, this is a grinding pace by Travis. You know, it's, it's again, just kind of like our last fight. It's not the most uh, entertaining to kind of watch, but this is very effective. He is winning right now. This Definitely. Is, you know, winning is ugly. Big shots. Often. Nice move there by Midkiff to get Good up. Good job by Midkiff. Look, he's, he's like, let's go, baby. He's smiling. He goes, he throws a high kick. Travis goes right for the takedown. Austin needs to sprawl. Went for it. No, the bell rang. Bell rang. That was close. Austin tried to sit for the guillotine. That was the end of time. Um, you know, again, not a lot of action, however, a lot of control but, by Travis. You know, that was a clear but, win for Travis. But the thing is, is was there any, you know, Austin didn't burn a lot of energy in that fight. Did Travis blow himself out throwing all of those strikes? Could have, or just trying to hold. You know, when you try to hold, 
you're squeezing. That can take a lot of energy. He could have burned out his arms. Um, you know, you, even though you're winning, you're kind of burning yourself out just trying to hold that position. So who knows? I mean, Travis was very fresh when he got to his feet. I'm sorry, Austin did. Yes. He kind of smiled, told him to come on. Yeah, as you see here, just shots landed by Travis. Uh, Austin just controlling the head, trying to control the posture, but lots of short shots there by Travis. Um, I'd very much give that a 10-9 round to Travis. Again, not a lot of damage, however, that was a, a controlling round for him. As you can see, Travis is just Travis, gonna rush Austin and, well, and go right to the grappling, try well, to get to the ground. He, it worked the first time. But, again, Austin is dangerous in this position. Now, again, we, if he's just going to sit here and, and full guard, you know, Austin's not going to be able to, to do much. He's going to have to open this guard up and, and try to create some sort of situation for himself so he's not pinned up against this cage the entirety of the round. Right. We have four and a half minutes, and we're already right back in, you know, where we left off in, in the first round. Again, another grinding round here so far out of Travis Ford. He's just given Midkiff no space to move. Yeah, I mean, uh, Midkiff needs so to... So, Adam, to, how, how important is this in, the, in this to open the guard, bump a hip, and try to move? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you basically you have to take a chance. You know, when, when you're on the bottom, you're pretty much thinking, like, all right, I want to not take big shots. I'm going to control their posture. Obviously, you're in a very dangerous spot here, but you have to get it out of your head that you're, you're, you're thinking about the shots that you're going to take, and you just have to go for it. You know, you got to kind of risk eating a shot to create a better situation right. for yourself. Because this is not where you want to be, especially as we're down here three minutes and 30 seconds into round two. Now Midkiff trying to get... Nice body shots there. We can hear him right here. I mean, you're losing if you're on your back. At the end of the day, if you're on I'm, your back in a yes. fight, you are losing. Austin here trying to get a, a foot on the hip, trying yeah. to make some space. Great control here by Travis. Just landing good shots here. It's a very dominant position. Just landing good shots. I mean... Austin needs to open up his guard and try to create a situation here. Lights came on. And the crowd went crazy. Crowd's not happy with us. See if we can get these lights turned off. <laughs> Speaking again, of not happy, Midkiff is not happy about just being laid on here at the moment. Yeah, I mean, you know, this this might get stood up. And, you know, if, if Mike Austin, England gave him a warning already. Yeah, I mean, if Travis can't do much more than what he's doing, this is going to get stood up. Halfway through the second round here, Midkiff now trying to get to a hip. Good job there, trying to just create a situation. Now Midkiff trying to walk up the cage, going to make some space, try to bump and push, maybe try to roll over the top. Yeah, I mean, he's going to use that cage to try to wall walk. Looks like he has a, a tight grip on the on the neck. I don't know if he's really he's not really threatening much there. But he is he is creating a situation for himself. I mean, right now, obviously not ideal, but, you know, it's, believe it or not. Could be looking for a potential reverse triangle. Yeah, I mean, this could be a little bit better than the full guard position because he, he could create some offense for himself. He might be able to get to his feet. Um, he's just not in that static spot that he was. But again, still very dominant position here for Travis. He's in the north-south spot right here. I mean, landing some shots. Midkiff back to full guard. Back to full guard. Wasn't able to do much with that. Down to a minute and a half remaining here in the second round of this three-round contest. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Adam Meredith. Live I mean, in St. Louis, Missouri at River City Casino I mean, for I would, Shamrock FC 343. I mean, right here you can see that that right leg is kind of up for Travis. I mean, this is an opportunity where, you know, Austin could get a butterfly hook, yep. try to get an elevator sweep here, kind of trap down on that, on that right arm. And it's like right there, I mean, that was a little bit more of a scissor sweep. Same principle and, you know, going to the same direction. Um, I, I would probably use the butterfly. You get more control there. Uh, Down to 40 seconds remaining here in the second round. More of the same here coming out of Travis Ford. But he still Just has the same opportunity. Just that hard grinding. 
when that leg is up there by Travis, I mean, you can get a butterfly there, kind of create a connection and, and elevate those hips and maybe open up something for yourself. But right now with just sitting here in full guard, you're not going to be able to do anything. And his legs aren't even crossed anymore, so Travis could try to pass here. Travis now on top, using that head position. I think both these guys are just are, are feeling it. Just getting a little fatigued. This is a very grinding pace for both it of is. these guys. And it's terrible to be, on, you know, number one, you're on top trying to hold them down. And two, you're on bottom and you're trying to hold their weight. It is equally challenging. Trying to hold somebody down is just, if, sometimes if harder than, than being held down. You know, you try to get up, you try to get up, obviously that's hard, but holding someone down is as, as not an easy thing to do. So if you're in the corner of Austin Midkiff, what does he have to do? Man, if I'm in Austin's corner, dude, you're down, you're down two rounds. Um, we gotta create some sort of offense. You're not gonna win on your back. So keep the distance, try to land some shots. You know he's gonna rush you. Maybe try to time that, land a big knee, land a head kick, something, but you cannot be laying on your back for the entire third round. Let's take a look here at our instant replay. Replay, which this is just where a lot of the last round was. Again, just Austin on his back, uh, Travis in full guard, short shots here to the body, 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 head, body, body, head. Good job by Travis mixing up those shots. Third and final round. Now, I did notice something. Midkiff had an ice bag on his knee. On his knee, his left knee there. And, you know. And that's exactly where Ford is attacking. Now, this is where Austin was dangerous. Right, right. Now, Austin did have that, you know, he, he pointed to his knee after the first round, too, so. See Travis with the single leg. He's gonna wanna scoop Austin off the cage here. A lot of boost from the crowd, but hey, this is a but fight, he's winning. You need grappling is a part of the sport. Grappling is a part of the sport. You have to be able to defend it. You have to be able to get to your feet. You have to be able to either get a submission or a sweep or Yeah, something has something gotta happen yourself. here. But again, it makes me wonder, is Austin having a hard time dealing if his knee is messed up? I mean, I'm sure it plays a, plays a role. However, when the adrenaline's pumping and you're 100%. in there, you might not feel anything. However, if, you know, he did take note of it in between rounds, so it's, it's probably on his mind. Big top pressure using that head position. Ford now trying to it. Austin looking to attack to a potential Kimura there. Yeah, he's trying to control that wrist. I, I, it looks like he's going to try to set up maybe a, a triangle or something, maybe try to push, bump and push. Just push that wrist, get it, get it kind of closer to the hip and throw that leg over. This is not what the crowd wants to see, but it is effective, Adam. It's effective. I mean, if you guys say who's winning, obviously Travis is winning. I mean, if you can't stop him from taking you down and punching you, then you're losing. This is a fight. I mean, again, not all the most exciting, as, but But effective. it's all aspects of the game. Absolutely. This you is have mixed to, martial arts. Exactly. You have to know every spot, and you have to know it well. Austin go, looking for the potential for triangle. triangle. Almost gets it. He's That's got tight. a Hail Mary. That's tight. That is tight. I don't that oh he sits back. Can he He's finish? Tapping. He gets and the he gets tap. It. And he gets it. Yeah, as you can see, Jeremy, he was baiting that right hand or the left hand of Travis the whole time. He's two on one, pushing, pushing, pushing. Got that right leg over. Secured the triangle. Beautiful job. It looked like he was he was hunting for that. That was a close call for Austin Midkiff. Buddy takes the win. He was losing that fight. And you know, that's why you fight to the end. You never stop. And you never give up. Let's take a look here at our instant replay with it. Here's the replay. Triangle's already locked up. You know, Travis tried to, tried to fight it, tried to get that arm out of there, but it was just too tight. He had to tap. I tell you what, Adam, jiu-jitsu does wonders, doesn't it? Jiu-jitsu, baby. Beautiful fight, beautiful display of heart by Austin Midkiff. 
he just never gave up. You know, that was not a good position for him. He was down two rounds to nothing, yet he pulled out the submission win via triangle. Amazing display of heart. That's why you just fight until the end. You never give up. Let's take it to Jeremy in the cage for the official What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to join us at the after party for Judy's Velvet Lounge. This match has come to a stop at two minutes and eight seconds of round three. Your winner via triangle choke, Austin Midkiff. Beautiful triangle by Austin Midkiff. He didn't take a lot of damage. He was losing. He didn't take a lot of damage, though. He was able to stay composed, stay calm. He knew where he was. He knew what he had to do. And he was able to get the finish to secure the victory.